हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल नो बायोलॉजी नो लाइफ एंड आई एम योर एजुकेटर शौपा शाह टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर फाइव द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ वी नो दैट ऑल द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स हैविंग अ बॉडी एंड देयर बॉडी इज मेड ऑफ सेल्स so that today we have to know at first that what is a cell cell is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms who first discovered it robert hooke discovered the cell in the year 1665 but it was a date one cell is a latin word that means a little room the first living cell was seen by leuwen hick in 1674 cell is the structural and functional unit of a body why such as all the buildings are made up of brick and thus a body is also made up of different kinds of cells so the cell theory was given by two biologists sladen and swan in 1838 according to the theory all the plants and animals are made up of cell and the cell is the basic unit of life guys cell can be of different shapes and size according to the number of cells present in a living body that can be of two types that means according to the number of cells present into their body the organisms are of two kinds one is unicellular and the other one is multicellular who are unicellular organisms having single cell and completing all their activities into one cell are called unicellular uni means single as for an example chlamydomonas paramecium and bacteria are unicellular organisms and what are the multicellular organisms multi means many or more organisms having more than one cell into the body is called multicellular organism may all the evolved and developed organisms are multicellular like human beings and next we have to know about the structural organization of cells there are many organelles into a cell what are the organelles cells have special components called organelles and these organelles help the cell to complete all its activities properly and so most important feature of the organelles are that if we study a cell under a microscope we would come across three important and common features in almost all cells they are number 1 plasma membrane number 2 nucleus and number 3 cytoplasms and every cell having at least these three components that it is the introductory class of class 9 i hope that you all understood what i have told you if you don't understand anything please ask me in my comment box and the next day we will thoroughly discuss about all the organelles present in a living cell so guys keep learning happy learning have a good day